Uh, Lord Jamal's in the building. Peace. Now, I was trying to think of all the ways I could set this off, and I came up with one way that I felt like, okay, this is, this is cool. Why do you hate Eminem? <laughs> Whoa. Why did I somehow feel like this was going to go in that direction at some point? Did I feel like he was going to try to jump out the window from Giddy Street? No. Um, bro, first of all, right. I don't even really... You know, according to his fans, mm -hmm. every time I speak, mm -hmm. I speak about him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Which we know is not factual, mm -hmm. but I don't even like to get in it no more. Like, it was never about hating Eminem. Right. It was just... It was just stating facts. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Just stating facts. Right. We, hip-hop is black music we created this shit as the creators we decide right. who our goats are right that's it okay not record sales not record companies not white people not any other people other than black people mm -hmm. and you know right puerto rican <laughs> <laughs> because we was the ones that started this shit right. in the beginning. So we decide. So well, when you got people coming up, oh, Eminem is the GOAT, he sold more records. We're like, real hip hop motherfuckers don't care about record sales. Like MC Hammer was selling mad records. Vanilla Ice was selling mad records. Right. Like that is not the criteria of what makes you good. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you're not gonna hijack this shit from us and tell us who we fuck with. Right. When you say MC Hammer, Ice T was selling mad records. I said MC Hammer and Vanilla Ice. Vanilla Ice was selling mad records. <laughs> we flipped uh -huh. Yeah, that would have been a big mistake. Yeah. That would have been a big mistake. Um, why do you think they were so popular? Because it was pop music. Pop mm. music is short for popular music. Like, right. And it was just, you know, it was mainstream. It was shit that white people could fuck with. Mm. So that's why, you know, black people will listen to a lot of music, but as far as being the purchasers of it, you know what I mean? It's really <laughs> females and white people. You know what I mean? Like, right. they're the ones that really purchase music. Like, mm. dudes, you know? Mm -hmm. It really takes some shit for us to go out and buy some shit. We're not going to just buy anything. Like, we're not just going to, so, you know what I mean? So as a pioneer... As I know, coming up um, in in the early eras of hip hop, the reality was a real important thing. Like where what your background was, um, the message that you spread, your your lyricism. When you make those things uh, a value, or you make those things a this is this is where the bar is. And if I want to be great, I want to push this bar. Is it, does it hinder you from success? And is, well, first answer that question, then I got a question right after. Wait, what, what, what are you talking about? What, like, is what hinder uh, you The lyrical, the, the most lyrical guys, uh -huh. they probably won't be the guys that's selling the most records. Right. Why is that? Because... And this is a question for anybody. If, yeah. Jump in if you well, want. Well, I'll be first. I got yeah, I would say because... <clears throat> It's the it's basically the education of the masses. Like the bigger you go, the more mainstream of the masses you're gonna be. The more people that are not necessarily into hip hop but but will like a catchy song will start fucking with your shit. Right. Um. So you're starting to go outside of the scope of the people that can appreciate and then it becomes, lyricism. Then it becomes pop. Right. So once it crosses that line into the pop genre. A lot of the criteria that we hold high is gone. They don't give a fuck about that. They just want to know, can they sing along to it and blah, 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 blah. Mm. And um, a lot of times lyricism doesn't lend itself to that. 
Mm. You know what I mean? Sing songy rap lends itself to that because you can attach yourself to that very easily and it translates well overseas and shit like that with mm -hmm. other languages and shit like that. Right. Like, they might not know how to speak, speak English, but they can do that sing songy type of rap. Right. When you like, -da 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 -da, you know what I mean? Yeah. When you really spitting, so they're what, tongue tied. Right. So, what is the attraction then to be a lyricist? Smoke, why do you rap like that? Why do you, you nah, know what I mean? mean like, if we know, all right, like, okay, if we know 50 Cent, he signed to, to Dr. Dre and M, and he simplified his shit. He didn't rap so no, much like that before. He did a little bit. He became, no, no, but he became very straight, direct, simple, following melodies and all that. Um, so why be a lyricist? I mean, I feel like lyricism is, that's a part of rap. Like, that's, that's, why, I started, that's why I fell in love with rap. Mm -hmm. but, you know what I mean? From, from niggas that made me think. Like nowadays, a lot of people don't want to think, mm. but then it's music for them. Agreed. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like for me, when I go overseas, and I'm a rapidly rap ass nigga. Right. right? <laughs> but when I go, when I, like, for instance, when I went to Japan, the niggas knew everything. Mm. Every word. Every. They like what they're gonna like. They like, if they like it, they with it. It's nothing but Japanese MCs and Japanese shit going on before I got there. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. It was my first time. About 2,000 people, so I'm like, all right, well, maybe they got, you know what I mean? Maybe it's another person here that, that's rocking. That, that's just me selling myself short. It's in my mind. <laughs> I just don't, you know what I mean? So, so you know, they be talking to Jap shit, ah, uh, ah, uh, you know what I mean? And then he say my name, and they make a little noise. So I'm like, damn. But as soon as I step foot on the stage, I, I had to look behind me to see if it was another nigga there. And then when I started going with my shit and hitting with the ride and the whole crowd was like, Rah! I'm like, oh shit, these niggas speak English. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what these, I mean? so, these are my people. Right, these right. are my people. So I right. feel like when you do what you do, people are going to gravitate to it regardless because it's, it's, it's something for everybody. You know what I mean? And me, like, I feel like I patent after the greats. You know what I mean? Like, everybody that I seen doing it before me. Right. So who am I to fuck tradition up? Mm. And I just want to say to that question also, I think it's all about who you respect. You know what I mean? That who part. you look up to. Like, like for some people, it's all about who are they rapping for. Some niggas, it's like they look up to a Nas or they look up to the lyrical, lyrical MCs. So it's like right. they want to write some shit so that if these niggas hear them, they be like, respect them. Yeah, they They're would respect them. Oh, right. Some niggas don't care about that. They just writing for girls or they writing for money or, you know what I mean, to sell drugs or whatever the case may be. So it yeah, all depends on what you hold in high regard and the people that hold lyricism in high regard are people that respect other lyricists. Uh, I, I wanted to highlight, because even when we talk about lyrical records, like there are, Eminem even mentioned him, he's lyrical. Right. To the, I mean, all the way power, and he sold tons of records. Right. But, but my point is, though, with lyricism, I also want to highlight it's the message. That it's not so much somebody lyrical, because you can have a dumb song with mad lyrics, and it's mad, still dumb, it didn't make no sense. What's an example of that? I don't, I don't, I don't make them, I don't know. I don't remember dumb songs, right. something like that. But I'm just saying to off the head, but that you can have a record mad lyrical, but not really saying much. So it's really more message rap. Some of these songs, even a sing along, trust me, if you had a real message, you could sing it too. Right. But there's no message in the, do you know what I mean? So I think um, shit that go far, it's the message with it. So maybe sometimes, yeah, positive, cause, just because you're lyrical, because you might say it to a 15 okay, like, yeah, lyrical and thing. No, you could be talking street shit, all types of shit with lyrics, but what's the message? It's hot for trap trapper turn smack rapper. Smack. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars, I can hang with the backpackers. Uh -huh. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers.